I walked across the plains and deserts, the stones of Gorgoroth, the fields of Nam. I left pieces of myself behind. I no longer needed them. Others, I lost. This is how I changed. You cannot become something new without leaving parts of yourself behind. They come to me seeking knowledge, but instead they find death. They ask of their fate, for themselves, for those they love. I gave mercy to those I devoured, and I damned others with vision. The web of fate drives men to madness. They will walk all its threads to find their meaning, only to discover there is no escape. It seems that she damns us with vision. And what of the Palantir? We will take a great risk in using it. him plainly. When you look upon my form, what do you see? A monster? A temptress? He would not answer. Look deeper, I said, for I am not the masks I wear. In this, Sauron and I were the same. Not the masks she wears. Remember this, Talion.
Merde He called me his pet, and I indulged him. He praised my hunger, though he called it passion. We were as one. Now I live in darkness at the edges of his empire. I explore the web of fate, a silent witness to his growing power, his everlasting dominion. It is time for me to come into the light. A spider always lies in wait. But for what? What was that noise? I chose the form of a spider because I wanted to walk the web of fate, to weave its strands. The Dark Lord chose something else. He chose a shell of cold, dark steel. He became a machine. From the beginning, Sauron was a creature built for war. Then it falls upon us to undo him. I flew from ruin, and made a home for myself in the caves. I was here before the first stone of Barador, and I will survive its fall. I have come to enjoy the darkness. My brood has grown. They extend my reach to Mirkwood, and beyond. They bring me gifts, as I do. She wishes an empire of her own. I sense she has had her fill of empire building. Get on. 
just hear something. The old gods abandoned us and the music of the world was thrown into disarray. He saw it as his mission to set it right. One dark lord correcting the mistakes of another. The future is filled with them. Each one determined to save the world from itself. To purge the chaos. To rule all. After Morgoth came Sauron, and after Sauron... After Sauron will come peace. To rule, one must be willing to destroy everything that has come before you. Even the memory of it must be purged. Do not think of what is lost. Think only of what will be. This is the story the Dark Lord tells himself. This is the story that will bring an end to Middle-earth. She learned from Sauron as I did. She survived him as I did. Then there is wisdom in these words. I spoke to him once of the beauty of Nern, the splendor of its hills, its forests. He seemed to shudder. Sauron looked upon the world as chaos, an imperfection that he would set right. His rings were perfect. The world was not. The only imperfection in Nern is its orcs. Sauron's notion of perfection is a low, mean thing. I don't know if the future is written or unwritten. My mind could travel up and down these paths, and they were like memories. But like memory, the mind would shape them to suit its ends. Were these my fears or my hope? It takes a cold eye. Are these not the same dangers as the Palantir, the Hydea, 
There is a risk in all these things, but wars are not won by the cautious. Have you ever seen a spider's web, strung with dew? That is the web of fate. All possibilities hang in the balance, but as the sun rises and the wind blows, the dew drops fall and history is revealed. Her visions reveal the truth. All of them. What say you? Truth? I used to believe in truth. But it is a corrupted virtue in the hands of those like Shelob and Sauron. He despised the greed of men, the predictability of the dwarfs. But most of all, he hated the elves who wished to embalm the world. Middle-earth will change, he told me. It will be. He wishes to remake the world in his own image. His image will be wiped away from Middle-earth when all is done. There is a beauty in power. There is a beauty even in violence. But there is no beauty in tyranny. In the rule of one. That is why he must be stopped. 
I saw a battle upon a tower. I saw... She turned away from Sauron, as did I. And yet she cannot see that. She fears you. She fears what will become of Middle-earth when we defeat him. Sauron understood that power did not come from armies, but the willingness to sacrifice, to lie in wait. This is the truth he taught me, and so I lie in wait. And when the day comes, I will make my sacrifice. She sacrificed the ring. She gave it to us. There is calculation in her every move. We can never trust her. Like the elves, Sauron values wisdom above all else. But for him, it is a cold, hard thing. He believes freedom is an empty virtue. He believes that Middle-earth seeks perfection in order. He believes that he will achieve what those before him could not. I lived in the light for many years, naked to the sun. But it is not to be my fate. Like my mother before me, I devour the light. It feeds a hunger that is insatiable. But I came from darkness, and I shall always return to it. The caves will be my home. must stand against them. Destroy them. They will only keep coming. Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> you would abandon me. Sacrifices must be made. 